Welcome. I'm Stacey Ray, Lane Arts Council Executive Director. Thanks for tuning in live with us today. We're so excited to recognize and celebrate the recipients of our Community Arts Program Grant and Individual Artist Grant. These grants support programming and art artist development happening now through June 2022. This year, we awarded over $63,000 to 12 arts organizations and eight artists in the Eugene area. We just opened applications for our next grant cycle for programming and artist development happening July 2022 through June 2023. Applications are due in April. For more information and to download an application for a program grant, project grant, or artist grant, visit lanearts.org. To get us started, I'm going to give a quick overview about these grant programs. Both grant programs are funded by the City of Eugene Cultural Services Division and administered by Lane Arts Council. This year, we focus the program grant toward helping Eugene's small and mid-sized nonprofit arts organizations recover from the impacts of the pandemic and fulfill their strategic goals moving forward. This grant program provides essential operating support to help sustain our arts and culture community in Eugene. Artist grants support individual artists of any discipline to pursue a new creative endeavor, invest in their artistic development, or bolster artistic business capacity to advance their career. This evening, we'll hear from each of the recipients of the Artist Grant and Program Grant. I encourage you to show your appreciation and support by leaving comments in the chat as we go along. But before we hear from recipients, I'm excited to introduce Eugene Mayor Lucy Vinnis to share about the impacts of the arts in our community. Thanks for joining us. Hi, I'm Mayor Lucy Venice, and I am grateful for this opportunity to be part of this virtual award ceremony for the recipients of this year's Lane Arts Council Awards. I have a former colleague who once said of her life that she tries to look at beauty every day. And I think about our artists in our community and how you do provide us with that opportunity to look at beauty, but you do more than that. The arts not only show beauty, but they reflect on our experience, on the lives that we are living, the challenges we face. They offer insight into ourselves and into others. The Eugene Public Library, in a presentation to Council just this week, talked about windows and mirrors. Windows are those ways in which you look out into the world and understand, and mirrors are those ways in which you look back at your own reflection and understand yourself. The City of Eugene supports these community art awards because we believe in those windows and mirrors, because you artists enable us to understand the world more broadly and to understand ourselves better. As we round the corner on two years of COVID and all of the stresses and losses and grief and anxiety everybody has experienced, those windows and those mirrors are even more important to us. So I am here to thank and congratulate this year's winners of the Lane Arts Council Awards. You make us a stronger community. You give us a pathway, not only to understand where we've been, but to see where we're going. Thank you and congratulations. Hello, my beautiful community. I'm Miha, and uh, I am beyond thrilled to be a recipient of an artist grant from Lane Arts Council and City of Eugene this year. And also just so grateful for this opportunity they are offering for artists. And I will be using this funding towards further development of my artist business, Miha Matris. I began this process last year, created a website, started developing different branches of my business. And the next phase is to uh, start having pop-up galleries, which this funding will support. My first one will be in spring, and it will not only showcase my artwork and creations, uh, but a few other artists locally as well. So I am super thrilled to have this support and recognition and opportunity to share my work uh, with the community, as well as uplift other artists in the process. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I can't wait to see you at my first pop-up this spring. My name is Mika Awolo. I've always been interested in the culture of nature. 
and I've been really curious about a certain problem in semiotics, the similarity in language for talking about invasive species and the immigration crisis. My current focus is the notorious Japanese knotweed that came from where I'm from. Instead of eradicating them, I harvested them and started using them as papermaking material. With this grant, I can purchase a professional papermaking equipment and a huge printmaking roller that I've been dreaming of. My plan is to create images of all the endangered plants in Oregon on the paper made out of Japanese knotweed. I'm excited about the idea of the invasive providing a space for the endangered to exist, with a hope for imagining ways to coexist in the future. These gifts would last me for my lifetime. I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Esteban, and I have created over 40 murals with groups of youth and adults focused on environmental themes. In 2022, I plan to create more murals dedicated to the climate crisis, but I want to develop a new teaching process to expand the learning experience for youth and myself. The vision I propose is to create a collaborative process to expose students to hopeful ideas for taking climate action. In addition to participating in the creation of a mural, students meet guest speakers who will share their experiences of working on the climate crisis. Students will be exposed to mural art, climate solutions, and career paths in one experience. The expanded contact with climate experts and students' ideas will provide me with new inspiration to create a more powerful imagery. Classes will combine the creativity of mural arts with group dialogue to create a synergy of learning focus on critical knowledge and building imaginative skills for envisioning our future. Thank you very much. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Um, my name is Joshua Caraco. Uh, my Lane Arts grant this year is for my performance act with my friend Tumelo Michael Malloy. Um, we're super stoked that there were process and progression grants this year uh, so that we can just, you know, work on our act. Um, so shout out to Denfinity Dance Studio where we practice. Um, and if you want to know more, um, you should check me out at Joshua Caraco Music on, you know, most social media. And uh, yeah, I, I think you'll, you'll be intrigued. Hi, I'm Carrie Ingracia. I design unexpected and participatory art experiences. In 2019, I created Multiplicity, an installation consisting of 12 modular art cubes. Six artists, including myself, created the visuals for the cubes. It was exhibited for a month and received an extraordinary amount of public engagement. My vision is to exhibit multiplicity frequently, but its current construction isn't durable enough. With the support of this grant, I will re-engineer it to increase durability and safety for public use. My goal is to make it available for local exhibits. I believe it'll be a great activity at summer city events, private events, and galleries. And using this piece as an example, I envision replicating the concept regionally and beyond and working with local artists to create customized versions of multiplicity. Thank you so much. Hello, uh, my name is Nicole Malinoff and I'm a disabled dancer and teacher and sometimes performer. Uh, for the past couple of years, I have been working on developing strategies for inclusive uh, teaching practices in the world of movement and dance. Um, and though I have a decent amount of experience, I felt that I needed to build up my knowledge base. So I'm going to be attending the introductory program at the Laban Institute, um, where I'll be learning movement analysis as well as anatomy and kinesiology. And then from there, uh, I'll be hopefully developing new strategies um, that I will then test out with a group of consenting teachers and students in a, a movement lab of sorts, um, and then further refine it from there. Uh, so yeah, I'm extremely excited about it, and um, thank you. Greetings, I am Nicole Medima, and I live here in Eugene. 
I have a progression project, which is to purchase the stage equipment needed to produce quality outdoor performances. I'm a silent clown. I write tragic comedies. I specialize in unstaged narrative storytelling that involves audience participation. I've struggled with being limited by lack of appropriate venues for my art form. So the equipment I'll be able to purchase through this grant will allow me to produce my own outdoor shows. It will increase the amount of jobs that I can get and thus my income, visibility, experience, while making more art and culture available in Lane County. And I love how the nature of clown work is often public. It's out on the street and it gets a variety of people together laughing. So thank you, Lane Arts Council and the City of Eugene Cultural Arts Division for providing these grants to the local artist community. They are so needed and I'm very grateful. Our final artist grant recipient is Carlos Retro Rasmussen, a 22-year-old freestyle animation movement artist and teacher in the city of Eugene. Carlos shared, I'm beyond grateful and honored to have an opportunity to throw an event in Eugene with this grant. I find joy in being able to have a space to express myself, but find even more joy in being able to share and give artists a chance to express themselves and their artistic forms and how it helps them throughout their life. I thank Lane Arts Council, the City of Eugene, and everyone involved in the decision making for this grant, and I'm excited to bring the City of Eugene a show about mental health and art. The show will highlight how artists use their artistic medium to express themselves and tell a story. I want to bring the conversation of mental health awareness to the community and impact as many people as possible, because not only is mental health something that all of us deal with, especially through this pandemic, but it's a conversation that we as humans avoid and yet need to have for our own safety and for the safety of others around us, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. Congratulations, Carlos and all artists. We can't wait to see your projects come to life. Hi, my name is Stephanie Jackson and I'm the program manager for the Creative Connections program at CAFA. Our mission is to help build emotional intelligence, social awareness, and connection for our people of all ages and abilities while incorporating the arts. We are so grateful for the Community Arts Program Grant, which will help us continue to serve others in a variety of ways, such as therapeutic art groups, activities, and workshops for children and adults, including court-mandated individuals. We also look forward to collaborative community art groups for residents of Blue River, as well as the Mosaic Table Project at Everyone Village. In this project, community-based groups and volunteers, as well as residents, will take part in creating tables for Everyone Village, a safe sheltering community in Eugene. Again, we are honored to be a recipient of the Community Arts Program grant. Thank you, Lane Arts Council, for helping us to continue meeting the needs of our community through the arts. Hi, I'm John Watson. I'm the Managing Director of Danceability International, and my job is to support our founder, Alito Alessi, and his mission of breaking down barriers between people with and without disabilities through the medium of dance. We thank you very much for the uh, grant that you gave us. That's really amazing. It's really going to help us out. We're going to be able to bring on a bookkeeper, which is going to free me up from the bookkeeping chores and the accounting chores to work on other things like marketing and helping move us forward again. Now that we're coming out of this pandemic and we can start thinking about things like classes and performances. Again, this is going to be a fantastic help. We really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm Gordon Nagayama Hall from the Board of Directors of the Disorient Asian American Film Festival of Oregon. And we are grateful for the support of the Lane Arts Council and City of Eugene Cultural Services Division. Disorient is the premier Asian American independent film festival in Oregon. And we highlight the stories and voices and histories of Asian American Pacific Islanders. We will use the funds to support our 17th annual film festival, which will be April 1st through 10th. And it'll be a hybrid festival with some events in person and others online. Please join us and learn more about Disorient at www.disorientfilm.org. Hi, I'm Erica Rauer, the Executive Director of Eugene Opera. 
We are so grateful to be a 2022 recipient of the Lane Arts Council's Community Arts Program Grant funded by the City of Eugene Cultural Services. Our funding will go towards a full production of Mozart's The Magic Flute at the Holt Center for the Performing Arts on January 28th and 30th of this month. This production is very important to us because it is our first full production with chorus and orchestra since the pandemic began. Thank you for your support in our efforts to keep live opera in Eugene. Hi, I'm Holly Spencer, Executive Director of Eugene Springfield Youth Orchestras, or ESYO. I want to thank Lane Arts Council for this important grant and for supporting us over the years to reach more and more young people through music. This year, we were able to bring our students back together to rehearse and perform safely in person, which has been gratifying for all of us. We're also able to continue our successful online String Academy program, and for the second year in a row, over 100 third, fourth, and fifth graders are learning to play over Zoom. We provide them with instruments to take home and scholarships to any family who needs one. Families continue to show us the importance of music for their children. So thank you for helping us keep the music going now and on into the future. Hi, this is Gary with the Kutzinger Cultural Arts Center here in Eugene. We are so pleased to be a recipient of the Lane Arts Council grant program this year. Those funds will go a long way to help us to continue our normal programming of marimba and Embira classes for adults and children. It'll also help us to continue our artists in residency program whereby we bring uh, Master Zimbabwean musicians to Eugene as well as the rest of the U.S. to perform and to teach this music. We thank you so much for your support. Hi, I'm Heather Campbell, the Executive Director of Mecca, and we are so pleased to be receiving the Community Arts Grant from Lane Arts Council. This grant will mean so much to us. It allows us to bring art supplies to so many people in our community and keep creative materials out of the waste stream and back to the people that need them the most. So that looks like free art supplies to teachers and homeschoolers and community projects, access to affordable art supplies to anyone who needs them in the community so people can learn a new skill, they can try a creative pursuit, they can explore um, and they can just get creative at a time that we all need to be a little bit more creative. So thank you so much for your support. It means the world. Thank you. Welcome to the Mod Kearns Art Center. I'm Michael Fisher, Executive Director. The Mod Kearns Art Center is a nonprofit community center dedicated to the arts. We offer a variety of arts programming for the community and support for local artists, including exhibits. Um, I'm speaking to you from our gallery for our new show, Social Bean, um, featuring five amazing local artists. The Art Center produces 10 to 12 exhibits every year featuring local, regional, and national artists. We do classes for all ages, and we also provide studio space for artists. I'd like to say a big thank you to Lane Arts Council and the City of Eugene Cultural Services for your support. We are excited to use these funds to help develop some new classes as well as some new exhibits for the people in the community to enjoy. I'd like to invite you all to come down and uh, get to know um, the Mod Kearns Art Center. I'm Brian McWhorter, Music Director for Orchestra Next. Now in our 10th season, Orchestra Next remains committed to providing live music for staged productions and bringing music mentorship to aspiring professional musicians. If you happen to catch Eugene Ballet's production of Cinderella or The Nutcracker over the last few months at the Holt Center, you heard our musicians playing their hearts out. We are so grateful to be back. Of course, being back is not so simple. Every day seems to bring about more challenges and surprises. The Community Arts Program grant from Lane Arts Council will bring us much needed stability for our operations during productions. In short, these funds will help ensure that Orchestra Next can continue to operate safely during these very uncertain times. To everyone at Lane Arts Council, thank you for all the work you do, and congratulations to all the other organizations on this grant cycle. Hi, Lane Arts Council. 
Thank you so much for the Community Arts Grant. I am the OSLP Program Coordinator for the Arts and Culture Program. And we are so excited to use this grant to help us continue to break down barriers to participation in the arts community for all people and to help us keep our studio open to the public with supplies and the mentorship program and our workshops and classes. We are truly grateful. Thanks. Oh, was it already Thank you. Thank you so much. We love art. It's <laughs> oh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say thank you, Shuri. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Jessica Ruth Baker, and I'm the Interim Executive Director at Very Little Theater. VLT was founded in 1929 by a small group of passionate amateur theater makers. And for 93 years, we've kept that tradition alive of being a community theater that welcomes everyone who comes through our doors. Whether you've never stepped on a stage before or you're coming back to theater after a long time away. We're currently renovating our 72 year old building and I was hired last year as our first full-time staff member. This grant from the Lane Arts Council will support our operational growth as we finish the remodel and reopen our doors. We're so thankful to have this support during our most trying times. Thank you to Stacy and everyone at the Lane Arts Council for your incredible work and everything you do for Eugene. Hi, my name is Eve McClure and I am the volunteer business manager at the Willamette Jazz Society. Our primary project is the downtown jazz station, which we provide over 200 performances and 40 educational jams to the Eugene Springfield community annually. Our uh, grant from Lane Arts Council was given to us to help assist us with marketing, storytelling, and publicity and to be able to provide us the money where we can hire professional production designers. So this year we were able to come out with our first annual uh, report to our entire membership and audience community. We produced a poster that's up in every Eugene Springfield um, high school band room and then flyers of when we go out and have the Jazz Station House Band visit these individual schools. There's a flyer that we can give each kid to bring home to their parents so we can expand outreach and awareness of our community gem called the Jazz Station. Thank you, Lane Arts Council. Thank you.